Hi, thanks for joining me on this video today. Purpose is to introduce our company to you and then kind of show you a little bit about the process of mitigation. Uh, to start with, my name is Josh Hopewell. I'm the president of Rainy Day Restoration and Roofing, and my brother John and I started the business in 1999. You know, the Small Business Administration says that 80% of businesses fail in the first five years. Well, we've survived the 2008 recession, lots of hurricanes, multiple presidency, and COVID, and we're still here. Uh, we follow a golden rule. This is something that served us well. We treat people the way that we want to be treated. Uh, our specialties include water cleanup, structural drying, mold remediation, roof replacement, roof repairs, and remodeling. So we've got the full scope of uh, different repairs and things in our wheelhouse. We can help you out with your project from start to finish. Some of our commercial clients include Baylor, Scott, and White with mold remediation, roofing, and remodeling. Uh, End Time Ministries with a large water mitigation project, the Cancer Center at Methodist Hospital, again, a water mitigation, uh, Apple Creek Preschool in, in Allen, we've replaced their roof, done multiple repairs inside, water mitigation, uh, currently replacing their Frisco roof location, and Packard Orthodontist replaced their concrete tile roof, uh, water mitigation, mold remediation, and remodeling. Uh, we also do residential projects, so whether it's roof and gutters, uh, here's an example of a standing seam metal roof, some flashing detail that we can do, uh, walk-in showers, tiling, uh, whatever project you've got, we can handle it. If you go to Google and Facebook, you'll see lots of reviews about our company. And all you have to do is Google rainy day services or rainy day restoration. And we've got lots of great testimonials. Everybody comments on how nice the teams are and how well they clean up. Uh, but we also do a fantastic job and do things uh, quickly. We're there to get the job done. This customer's house was hit by a tornado and we, we took care of everything for them. Now, when we say mitigation, it's also referred to water as water damage restoration. Um, so we'll be calling it mitigation throughout the rest of this uh, quick presentation. And it basically involves an eight step process. Uh, the first step is to evaluate then extract standing water, pack out, containment, demolition, a vacuum and apply antimicrobial treatment to help prevent mold growth, structural drying, and then daily equipment monitoring. So I'm going to take you through these steps so you know what to expect on your own home. So the first step is to evaluate what's going on. Uh, we use thermal imaging as well as moisture meters, depending on the nature of the, the water that you've got in your home and uh, we'll do a visual inspection as well. If there's any standing water, we'll extract that with our high pressure extraction machines. Uh, we can extract from hard surfaces as well as carpet. Uh, next is a pack out. So if you've got a lot of contents in the room that we're going to be working on, we've got professional movers that will come out, uh, shrink wrap the valuable uh, furniture and, and other things box everything else up, and we can either move those items to open areas within your home, or we can move them off-site to a storage facility, whichever you prefer on that. Next step is containment. So this is an example of a partial containment that we've started. Uh, this is just to minimize dust and other uh, things that are you know, in the air, um, and also allows us to kind of keep control over the area that we're working in as far as airflow and heat and things. Uh, so if you've got open spaces or if we just want to isolate a certain area, we're gonna use containment when needed. Um, after that's taken care of, we're gonna do the demo. So this example here is wood flooring, but uh, there's lots of things that, that might need to be removed. Um, and in most cases, these are the things that we're gonna take out. So any items that are in the affected areas are gonna be removed and discarded. That's gonna be baseboards, drywall and insulation that's on the exterior walls. If there's wet carpet pad that will get thrown away. Uh, laminate flooring, wood flooring, and then cabinets and countertops will be detached from walls. We don't necessarily um, throw those away. We, we try to salvage those. Uh, and then any plumbing or electrical components, uh, we'll have licensed technicians disconnect those items. And we follow the IICRC standards of practice for all of our uh, demo and, and other mitigation services. 
Uh, some of the common damage that we find during demo is this picture on the left, you can kind of see the, the water staining at the bottom of the cabinet. So that paneling starting to swell up. Uh, and there's also some discoloration down in the bottom corner of that. Uh, and then in the right hand picture, this is behind a cabinet. Um, you can see down in the bottom, kind of the middle of the picture, there's some discoloration there from excess water. Uh, so those are things, and this is one of the reasons why we really need to remove cabinets so that we can identify, not identify, but discover if there's other damage that needs to be uh, mitigated and remediated. As far as granite, quartz, other solid countertops go, uh, they are glued down in most cases, and when we pull them up, sometimes they can break. Uh, if they do break, we're going to take pictures and document that for your insurance company. After the demo is complete, we vacuum up all the areas uh, to, to get all the dust and, and debris out of the way. And then we apply an antimicrobial treatment to help prevent mold um, on the framing and on the concrete, anything that's exposed at that point. Uh, then we begin our structural drying. Uh, it's called structural drying because we're trying to dry out the framing, right? Any wood components. Um, obviously, we want to dry your drywall as well but we really are trying to get that, that framing drive. So we use lots of different types of professional grade equipment. That's gonna include dehumidifiers, air movers, which is what you see here in this photo, uh, air scrubbers, HEPA filtration. We also use wall cavity drying systems and floor drying systems. Basically, we've got the tools and the equipment needed to take care of whatever situation is at your home. Now, just a couple things to keep in mind that in some cases, it might take five to even seven days to dry out completely. Um, also in the areas where we've got equipment running, those room temperatures are gonna get fairly high. Uh, so if you've got electronics, candles, firearms, all that kind of stuff needs to come out of the room, uh, which, you know, like I said earlier, we have the packers come out anyways, but we definitely wanna get these items out. Uh, and also the equipment is loud. Um, but it needs to stay on 24 seven until we remove it from the property. Uh, so in some cases it might be necessary for you to find another place to live, especially if your whole home is gonna be disrupted. Uh, but in other cases, we might be able to close a door or something to help give you some separation from that equipment. Uh, the last step is our daily monitoring until the property is dry. Uh, so we'd set up a lockbox, or if you can be at the property when we come, you could just let us in. Uh, but when we come out, we're going to be taking moisture readings, uh, repositioning the equipment, maybe taking equipment away or adding equipment, and then we're going to document and photograph our progress. Uh, and then once the dry standard has been reached, we'll take all the equipment from the home and present you with our project paperwork. So that's going to include drying logs, uh, which is what you see here, just a description of the rooms that we worked in. Uh, and what those moisture readings were each day that we came out. Uh, photographs of either equipment in place or monitoring equipment in place, just to kind of show the progress. Uh, a moisture map, which is a diagram of your home of showing the affected areas, and then the invoice. And the invoice that we use is formatted in a way that insurance companies like to see, and it makes it easy for you to collect the money from them. So at this point, you've probably got some questions. Um, some of the frequently asked questions we get are, how much is this gonna cost me? What happens if my insurance company doesn't take care of me? And do you work with my insurance company? So let me address those for you. So the first answer, how much is this gonna cost me? Basically, we use the same pricing software as pretty much every insurance company out there. So if your insurance company takes care of you, it's not gonna cost you anything for the mitigation. Uh, we use a, a software called Xactimate, and <clears throat> this is off their website. You know, 22 of the top 25 insurance companies in the United States uh, use Xactimate. So there's a, there's a small chance that they won't be using it. Now, what happens if my insurance company doesn't take care of it? Well, you do have some recourses in Texas. There's a Consumer Bill of Rights, uh, which you can read about on the Texas Department of Insurance website. Uh, you got lots of things here. Um, you don't have to take their first offer. So line 28 there, you have the right to reject any settlement amount. So if they offer to pay you, you know, whatever, 
and it's not enough, you don't have to accept it, you can, you can dispute that. Uh, also, after notifying you that your claim is approved, they have to pay you within five days. So if seven days, seven business days has gone by and they haven't paid you yet, uh, you have you know, some recourse there. Uh, and then as far as mortgage companies go, sometimes your mortgage company will be on the check. So once you request the funds from them, they have to release the money to you within 10 days or at least tell you why they haven't and what you need to do. Um, you can also file a complaint with the Texas Department of Insurance and you have the right to sue them. So do have some recourses there. Um, and then as far as do you work with my insurance company? Uh, yeah, we work with insurance companies in three different ways. Uh, so the first thing is we do site visits together with adjusters all the time. Uh, we can go and evaluate the damage, evaluate the progress, things like that. Uh, the second way we, we can work with insurance companies is to provide them with progress updates, uh, either by phone or email to let them know that, hey, we're still working on, working away, getting it dried out. Uh, and then the third thing is that we provide photos and documentation to back up what we've been doing. However, we don't negotiate prices with insurance companies. You know, we use that Xactimate software that 95% of insurance companies use. Uh, so there's not a, a reason to negotiate a price with them. That's already what they're using. And we're also not public adjusters or attorneys. Uh, and we're not gonna get in between you and your insurance company. Um, so if you have a dispute with them, then you could definitely hire a public adjuster or an attorney to help you with that. Uh, as far as the billing process goes, we, we try to make it simple. So basically the way that it goes is once we finish the drying, we'll provide you with our invoice, the drying logs, the moisture map and photos. And then <clears throat> you've got 30 days from the date of completion to pay, to pay the bill or upon receipt of the insurance money. So if they pay you, you know, within 20 days, then you go ahead and pay us. If it takes them 30 days to pay you, you would pay us at that point. And at 30 days, if they still haven't paid you, we would need to collect from you and then you could continue to wait uh, and work with them uh, on payment for the mitigation. But we do have lots of convenient payment options, cash check, money order, Amex, credit cards, gold, cash app, all that kind of stuff. We even have financing we can help you with. Now, the next steps is starting with a, a first party work authorization form. Uh, and that just allows us to begin the mitigation process. Uh, once we do that, we would complete our evaluation of the property uh, and then arrange for a lockbox placement. Thank you very much. We look forward to working with you. If you have any other questions, please hit us up at our website or our phone number. Thank you.